So Charlie, you're back in town. Uh, obviously, I drafted by the Bengals. Um, tell me a little bit about the process of you coming back to, to help run this camp. Yeah, um, something that's been in the in the works for a little bit now. Um, I think, you know, before even the combine, I, I had scheduled this and it was something I was looking forward to and being able to come back and, uh, you know, be here and, you know, high school is, you know, just, mm -hmm. just right down the road. Um, so it's been awesome to get out in the community. Um, you know, my brother goes here now to have him here with me. Uh, it's, it's cool. How cool is that for you guys as a family just to see Luke kind of uh, not carry on the tradition of at Purdue, but kind of following your footsteps a little bit. Yeah, no, it's, um, it's definitely awesome. He's worked really hard to get here. Um, you know, you know, did it all on his own. Um, he's earned this. So, um, and, and to have it be somewhere that I played is even cooler. Um, so I'm really excited for him and his journey. Um, and you know, hopefully uh, I can make as many games as I possibly can. Mm -hmm. yeah. um, it felt like from day one you were kind of a turned into a fan favorite with that uh, performance at Penn State. Uh, just what does it mean to you to to keep that that uh, that support and appreciation going all the way through all the way through last year, and then obviously now yeah. now that you're gone. Yeah, I mean it was awesome coming in last year. You know, obviously being the new guy. Um, you know, not really sure how things are going to go. And just for me personally, I was just looking, you know, I'm going to do what I need to do. And um, to have the support from, from the community and, and see people out there, you know, wearing, you know, um, 15 shirts or whatever, um, you know, has been awesome. And then um, everywhere you go, everyone's super nice around here and coming back people, you know, same thing, just, just really good people. And, uh, you know, I think that that plays a lot into, you um, the culture of the team and you know this town and um really makes game days pretty special when, when you got people who like who care and uh you know are passionate about their team mm. and hudson said that you guys you guys have kind of talked a little bit um during your process of getting ready for the combine yeah. and all that yeah. uh, just tell me tell me about kind of you guys connecting and then what your conversations have been like yeah, um, so after pro day, I stuck around um, and, and trained here before the draft um, and, and got to talk with him a decent amount. And, you know, um, you know he's he's getting uh, in the you know, same situation as me. He's a new guy. Um, he's got a lot to learn and uh, I'm trying to get adjusted. So um, it's been good to, you know, at that time, you know, say what's up and introduce myself and, and um, you know, just get to meet him and, and help him in any way possible. Um, and I'm just really excited for him. Um, can't wait to see what he does. You know, I'm hoping um, all the best for him, and uh, you know, just just uh, excited to have him. You know, as my as my brother's quarterback. Well, just obviously, Coach Brom left. Um, just what do you think of this new direction of, of Purdue football? Yeah, yeah, I'm excited. Um, I think uh, you know I met all the all the new coaches, and uh, you know there's good energy around the building. Um, you know, a little bit younger of a staff, um, w which is awesome. You know, I have, have guys with a lot of high energy, um, and they've been super wel welcoming to me, and uh, I think that says a lot about about how they operate. Um, so, um, you know, I think I think uh, they're doing really good things, and talking to players, it seems like they really like them. Um, so definitely excited to see what they kind of come in and do and you know what they keep and what they what they uh sprinkle their own new stuff in um so it, it's it's going to be interesting now during the q a do you uh give the kids any any sort of advice just kind of based off your story all the things that you kind of went through yeah i mean uh, most of the questions were uh you know mad and rating uh -huh. predictions on that um but yeah uh no just just anytime you get a chance to to be in front of um you know um, kids, you know, I was in, I was in their shoes, um, you know, going to camps and looking up to, up to older players. Um, so anytime you get a chance to, to kind of, um, to do this is, is awesome and, and help out it. However, you know, you know, uh, even if it's a, a little thing, um, even if it's nothing that, you know, you don't got to say anything crazy because, uh, you know, anything you say, they're going to, they're going to take it to heart. Um, so it, it's been awesome. What do you want them to get out of this experience? Yeah, I mean, I think um, first and foremost, like just an opportunity to go, get out here and, and play the game, um, you know, really develop that love for it at a young age. Um, that's something that I did. And then 
Um, I think hopefully um, if they get around, you know, older guys, you know, Hudson being here, my brother being here, me being out here, um, you know, show them that, you know, it, it matters and, you know, I want to be here and I want to, you know, um, give back as much as I can and, and help out wherever I'm needed. Um, and hopefully, you know, if they're in that position one day, they, you know, they come out and they, they, they uh, you know, throw the football around with, with the younger guys.